Hey folks, my name is Dr. Phil Roberts. I have the privilege of practicing anti-aging and regenerative medicine in Franklin and Nashville, Tennessee. I went to the University of Alabama School of Medicine at UAB. I did two years of general surgery and ended up in emergency medicine, which I loved and did that for over 25 years. As I was doing that, I began about six or seven years ago to go, wow, where did my concentration, where did my energy, where did my stamina go? And when I realized that it wasn't good for me or the patients, I knew I needed to do something about it. I had recently read Suzanne Summers' book, Ageless. Recognizing the need to get my hormones checked, I did. And I found out I was low in multiple areas. Getting those replenished reinvigorated my life. I wanted to get even more and more immersed in this. I've gone through the anti-aging modules here to where I finished the certification for an advanced diplomat of the A4M. This has just rejuvenated and changed my love for medicine. In emergency medicine, you take whatever shows up and you're dealing with it right then, boom, going after it. No one in the world does it better than the United States of America for trauma medicine. Nowhere else. We are on top of that. However, how do we respond to someone that's becoming diabetic? How do we respond to someone that's got a Gleason score and their prostate is headed towards cancer and the doctor says, we're going to watch you? Or you're getting macular degeneration. You think, well, we're going to watch and we're going to do this and there's not a whole lot we can do. Whoa. Listen, there are lots of things you can do. A lot of these things we have, like prediabetes, prehypertension, you can reverse. And we're not going to wait till you're going over the cliff. Let's deal with it right now, and it doesn't have to take a whole long time. Here's what they found. If people are willing to lose 10% of their body weight, oftentimes that will be enough to take them from a category where they're a type 2 diabetic or even hypertensive to take them out of that category. Most people don't even realize that the food you're eating is destroying your body. It tastes great, there's no doubt about it. But what I've found for myself is I've completely changed my diet. I've tried to cut out as much as I can. Wheat, processed foods, the GMO foods. I mean, it goes on and on, but you start to see that what we've really got to do if we're serious about taking care of our health is to change from the mainstream the way they're doing things and do it differently. What is inflammation? That's one of the things they describe as a silent killer. If you think about a car that gets rust, I equate that with inflammation. Your body is saying, hey, I need some help here. You may see it as an elevated cholesterol. You may see it as an elevated CRP, which is a blood test. So what you've got to do, again, is start with baseline labs that give you complete hormones, minerals, vitamins, chemistries, other things that you can look at to see what is my body saying that's going on. Then you go about it systematically, restoring the things that are going to help decrease the inflammation, cool things off. It's like your body is on fire. We've got to put it out. So we develop an individual plan, personalized medicine, where you can help get these issues for you under control and going in the right direction. We want to put back in your body the same hormones molecularly that are just like what you made when you're 25 to 30. What is it going to do? It's going to help lower your cholesterol. Well, why is it elevated? The cholesterol is elevated because it's a sign of inflammation. You want to get these hormones back in your life. Ladies, you're not crazy. There is something really going on. And it may be your thyroid. You go, my feet are cold. My hands are cold. I'm losing hair. I don't feel good. I'm gaining weight. And, and the, the doctors often will go, well, your lab levels are in the normal range. So you must be okay. You were never created to be normal. You were created to be exceptional. Let's get you in the exceptional lab category range, but let's deal with the symptoms. After all, your symptoms are more important than just a piece of paper with a number on it, aren't they? Let's aggressively, wisely go after correcting these deficits we have and get them fixed. If you're thinking about preventive health, if you're thinking about getting your hormones rebalanced, if you have problems with your thyroid, we would love to help you. Look us up, balancedlifeandhealth.com, or give us a call. We look forward to being of assistance to you.